Baker. This is uh, Brian Trainer here. What's up, guys? Yep, it's uh, another episode of DMB <laughs> and Adventures. We're gonna, what? We're gonna go down to this uh, yes. Carranza Monument, okay? And um, it's, it's in New Jersey. It's off a road called Carranza Road. Um, it's supposedly haunted, okay? I seen something but I'm too embarrassed to say anything about it because, you know, a lot Actually, of people... Actually, it was right here. A lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's right, at the double turns right up here. We're driving. But a lot of people, you know, they criticize you for that kind of stuff. But this isn't going to be one of those paranormal no. uh, type videos. We're going to do the history of it. Internet. We're going to do the history of it. And uh, you, a lot of people are going to learn about... Um, I, I can't remember. I can't remember his first name. When we go to the monument, we'll... Uh, if it's not all the lies, we'll be able to read it and tell yeah, you. Yeah, it. <laughs> it's all it's all all at his memorial. <laughs> Basically, he, uh, Carranza was his pilot that came from Mexico. Okay, he his children of Mexico gave them all their pennies, gave him all of their pennies, and people donated money because he wanted to be the first Mexican pilot to make a long distance flight. So. He um, got the money up, he flew out to New York, made it all the way to New York from Mexico, New York City, and then he started his flight back, and he got hit by a severe thunderstorm, and um, it literally pushed him into the ground and uh, he died from a plane crash. And his monument's out here. Man, the monuments, the monuments out here. We're heading down this little road here. Monuments out here. It's like a memorial park out here now. A lot of people come out here, walk around and stuff. Uh, the same monument that's here is actually in Mexico. Uh, it's in his hometown in Mexico. The same exact monument. And um, yeah, it's deep. It's in the Pine Barrens. It's pretty dark back here, but uh, there's some there's some pretty good stories back here of what people see. Uh, some people say that uh, you could be out here after midnight and it's really dark after midnight, and you would see a big flash within the woods, and sometimes the light will come screaming through the woods, like almost like a. a what am I thinking of, Brian? Like when you have a bomb blow up. What is that? The, um, shockwave. Shockwave. Like a shockwave. It goes through the woods. And um, people would see that and actually experience that. Um, there's a lot of other tales out here. There's there's a lot of interesting stuff out here. And the Pine Barrens, or it could be anything could be out here. Maybe that would be a, a good name for the channel, for the series. Jason Tales. <laughs> Okay, there's the monument there. Supposedly this whole area here is where he crashed his plane. Okay. This over here is the whole story broken down to how he, what he was doing. <coughs> and here's what we're looking at Okay, there. yeah, he was, his name was Emilio. Emilio Carranza Rodriguez. That's actually a picture of him there. So they actually put a picture of him there. It's a pretty chill looking dude. And there's, all, there's the path. It's right all there. Spanish here. <sighs> so he was running uh, on a non stop flight from New York to Mexico. So he started off in New York. So that's where he actually started off was in New York. I thought he came from Mexico up to New York and made the first thing, that, uh, you know, made the first run. This is where he crashed at during a thunderstorm. And. Uh, it was a goodwill mission. Apparently, it was a goodwill mission. Um, it says right here that the children of Mexico saved their pennies to Quarry Stone. How do you say that one? Cahulia. <coughs> okay. Sure. Cahulia, Mexico. So the Mexican, uh, Mexico. Sorry, monument. 1931. Each block. Right, oh, okay. Represents the state of the Republic of Mexico. That's what they saved their pennies for. Each block for in this monument. monument. Yeah. For the monument. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was for him flying, but that was for his monument they saved the pennies for. So. Yep. 
And they erected it, and this is the monument here, of course, and that. And we'll go take a look at the monument. Yeah, we'll take a closer look. And it looks like Sean was here, too. So. Oh, yeah, I know. Look at the, you know, see all the graffiti there, there, right? So this area here is your monument. This is the monument. Is that uh, Emilio's trailer back there, too? So it's been Pretty here cool. since 1931. I guess somebody's out here. They're crazy, but they're out here. But look at the uh, inscriptions on it. The carving's yeah, the really carving's cool. Awesome. The design is really cool. Dave standing still... next to it gives you kind of a sense of scale there. Yeah. Right. Um, still, it's in still really good shape. Yeah. People yep. leaving pennies on it, a rock. So some of the people who were, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you see a couple over there. Showing their respect. Pennies on a rock. Somebody got it. And here. And it's kind of like in the shape of this this falling eagle, you know, this bird that's okay, falling right from here, the sky. Right here it says, Messenger of Peace. The people of Mexico hope that your high ideal... Your high ideal, Deals. I guess. Yeah, there's an S in there. We'll yeah, idea, ideals will be, be realized. Be realized, I guess, yeah. Uh -huh. Let me get a closer shot of this block here. I can barely even see that one. Okay. I'm a, and the children of Mexico. Homage of the, oh, image of the children yeah, of Mexico. Yeah, image of the children of Mexico. To the aviator captain. Yeah, yeah. He said he's, they say children save their money to make this monument. Super cool, man. They shows you they really looked up to him, you know. The Mexican people still visit it. They still got flowers. Yeah. Put flowers down. You know, on this side we have I we like have the, the arrow. Like the arrow, the yeah. arrow, yeah, that's really cool. Pointing up to the sky. It's really taken a beating in, over the years. We figure it's from 1930 or 31. Mm -hmm. It's taken a beating. And this is the same thing, but it's in Spanish. What gets me is uh, it looked like they had two flagpoles there. Maybe they flew the flag of yeah, Mexico. One time they did have flagpoles. And then they flew maybe the United uh, States or something. The American one and, and they the they need to put those back. I think that'll be. Yeah. Let's go get this side now here. Oh, something just ran by there. And when there's a Spanish, that's the same, it says the same thing on the other side. Obviously, it was a small, very small plane. Yeah. But this is, must be where they actually found the plane. This is where mm -hmm. they probably erected the monument. It was right where the plane was right here where it crashed. Look, you see another this flower road, here. This road was probably already here to begin with, too, so... Yeah, sucky thing. <laughs> What's that? I know it's like a helmet, but it also looks like a bird crash. It, it is, yeah. Is it, it really is that does. What it is? It looks, is that what it is? I it's think it's more uh, the design of the of, yeah. of the bird. Yeah, this this it looks like a bird crash. Bird of flight it's down. coming down. Yeah, coming down. That's right. And it's hard to make it out, but it looks like oh, somebody put their footprints in there. Yeah, there's like some oh, kind of. Oh, they redid this. That's why, Brian. What's that? It looks like they, oh, no. they, that was a patchwork job. Yeah, I mean, if, if people can... Uh... Oh, the kids themselves might have done that when he sent the block out. Oh, yeah, look, here's more. Yeah, when he sent the block out, the children did that. Yeah. Okay, I never noticed that before. That's the first some pretty that. damn big footprints for kids. Man. Oh, jeez. I never noticed that before. <laughs> but, <clears throat> of course, if anybody knows a little bit more details about the monument and its Surprise. creation, you know, put it down in the comments for well, us. It's... It's actually just Google. You can Google it. Come on, Google. And he also, his, um, I don't know what town he came from, but they have the same monument in, 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 the, in the town. In the too. town, okay. So.
And here it looks like somebody tried to make their own uh, <laughs> ritualistic <laughs> monument. You got, you got a cross right there. You got the star right there. What will if I break it? <laughs> well, there's a there's a campground over that way, yeah. isn't there? Somewhere. Yeah, there ain't nobody there. That's not worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. It's, it's pretty damn cold right now. But yeah, you can imagine how dark it gets out here at night. You can't even see your own hand out here. Yeah, there's probably some uh, some things from weird weird time, New Jersey out here. Time you might have a it is beautiful bit of though. Light. When the tree, the other trees fill in. <laughs> A lot of ducks. A lot of ducks flying around here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah. All right, brother. You're gonna need to plug in for some power here. Yeah. Let's go see what else we can find. What trouble we can get into? Yeah. All right. So there you have it, folks. The Carranza Memorial in Southern New Jersey, Pine Barrens.